Hello, it is I, Menace, and I'm not having a very good time at the moment. Um, somebody recommended that I record a video or videos of playing through Project Playtime, and I thought it was going to be like Poppy Playtime because it had Huggy Wuggy in it. That sounded really weird. <laughs> um... Long story short, I recorded a video, but while recording the game, it had a very crap coding system, and it kept glitching in and out on my screen anyways. I don't know if it showed that way on the recording, I don't know, because I never looked at it. But, as I was saying, long story short, I played it, I recorded a video for it, and now I can't open... Half my apps. <laughs> so Microsoft Edge, YouTube, Steam, like like every single thing I had working here is just not working now. And after 24 hours of struggling, I got Steam working, but I still can't access the YouTube app. And I'm I'm honestly tired and I'm exhausted. Um, until I get this working again, I'm probably not going to be posting any more YouTube videos. Because this is a freaking hassle for me. And it sucked because I actually had one uploading, so now I might have to redo all that. I sat there waiting for almost two hours. <laughs> now i got to do all that again. <laughs> I just love my life sometimes. It's like... Hey, my day's getting better. Oh, it got, it got worse. How's your day? My day sucks. Hope it gets better. It gets better. And then it gets worse. Surprise, surprise. Why am I not surprised? Oh, yeah. Because that's my way of life. Yay. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, just smile with the pain, I guess. Just go through it. I'll, I'll see if I can get this fixed in time. But as for right now, I'm just gonna put the mic down, I guess, because there's not much more I can currently do. And that's not fair. I don't remember who recommended I, I play Project Playtime. I got a big freaking list of games that everybody kept recommending I try and play. And even after I start playing one, they, they start recommending five more. And it's like, you can't be kidding me. I, I can't go through all this. And I just eagerly wanted to play most of them. And some of them I actually meant to get to. Some of them I just have not made time for. And now thanks to one recommendation from somebody I knew on the Xbox, but I cannot remember who, I might not be able to get through any of them for a good while. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I'm, I was able to salvage the recordings, so they are still there. Yeah, at least that thing still works. Thank, thankfully. Oh, would you look at that? That didn't work. I'm literally sitting here looking through the recordings right now because I, I just managed to get that working f finally. Yeah, so while I was recording, you guys aren't, aren't going to be able to see this until I find a way to upload this. But uh, while recording Project Playtime, it, it appeared to me as full screen on my PC. But now that I see the recording, it's just a small little box on the screen and my head's off in the corner. And the thing just kept glitching. It kept glitching in and out. So I, I literally kept seeing glitches. And I thought that I was on full screen. 
but no it was not on full screen in fact it was on a small screen it just looked like it was full screen because it appeared as full screen on my screen when in fact it was being recorded as a small screen if that even makes sense i'm doing the best i can to explain it so i was recording and while i was recording it appeared on my pc as a full screen but now that i look at the recording it's just a small little box off to the side and it's like okay that that freaking sucks You know what? I'm just going to delete this recording. I'm, I'm not even going to bother playing Project Playtime again because that was just, that was bad. There, that's gone now. Empty recycling bin. Yes, empty. Yes, I want to permanently delete these items. Thank you. Uh, at first, I thought it was Burnt Nugget who recommended I play that, but now I'm not so sure because it was one of three people who rarely ever talk to me and almost never get back to me. And at first I thought it was Burnt Nugget, but now I'm not sure, because it could have been one of three people. I just said that. I'm ranting. I am sorry. I am tired, boy. Shockingly, that actually helped. Well, thanks to somebody who I know on the Xbox, and I'm not exactly sure who it was at this point, but one of the games somebody recommended that I play off of Steam has just messed with my PC, and I'm not happy about it. I'm tired of being griefed by people. I'm tired of being trolled by people. I'm tired of them recommending games that they recommend are top tier, and then I play it, and it's just an absolute piece of crap. Because when I when I downloaded Project Playtime, I thought that I was playing, like, Poppy Playtime. I thought I was playing a really fun game. And then I try it, and it's a multiplayer game. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting a single-player game, almost like Five Nights at Freddy's. But that's not what happened, unfortunately. And I still can't get YouTube to here on my screen so this is just absolutely great I mean Microsoft Edge says it's working YouTube says they're working but then I go to get them on the main screen and they're just not here they're gone they don't even exist they're they're not there so from, from now on, I'm going to decide what games that I play. I thought I could be unbiased and nice to everybody, but it seems like there's some people who still want to be mean to me and troll me. And I'm getting very sick and tired of being griefed by griefers and trolled by trollers. You think it's funny? Am I laughing? Do I sound like I'm amused? I'm not laughing. It's not funny. I worked very hard to get my computer, and I worked really hard to fix its flaws, and then you guys come around, and you, you screw with me, and you think it's really funny. No. No, I'm done. I'm done taking recommendations from now on. I'm going to play what I want to play. I've tried being nice. I've tried being lenient. I've tried being polite and patient. And it seems that some people just can't get the message when I say I'm sick and tired of being griefed. I'm sick and tired of being trolled. I'm sick and tired of being used. I'm sick and tired of being abused. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you guys doing this kind of crap to me. Thanks to you trollers and griefers over the last, oh, two years, I've lost an Instagram account, a 
Facebook accounts. There was another app I lost an account to. I was even cyberbullied at one point. So yeah, I'm I'm done. And now I got a, a PC that doesn't seem to want to cooperate and it's not some crap PC. It's an actually good PC. And that hurts me because I worked very freaking hard to get this. And I don't want to part with it just yet. I, have, I haven't even had it for two years yet. <laughs> so from now on I'm going to choose what games that I want to play and I'm going to choose what I get to play and who I play with it seems that when you're nice to people they walk all over you and when you're absolutely vicious and violent and angry towards people they tend to listen okay I'm starting to get the message here. Being nice didn't work for you guys, so now I'm being mean. I'm bringing the hammer down. Everything you've recommended, everything that I have on the list, everything that's going to be put in future references, that's all going to get broken down and filtered out. Uh, to the people who recommended Ark Survival, I'm not going to be playing that. That's no different than Grounded. I had a bad experience playing that. Uh, to the people who recommended Dead by Daylight, Dying Light, I'm not playing that. I'm not playing that. The Call of Duty stuff, yeah, I'm not playing that. I'm, I'm tired of this crap. I got a whole list of stuff here that I'm going to be taking out. And it's thanks to the person who just trolled me, who... I was acquainted with on the Xbox, who I'm probably going to unfriend in the next 72 hours if I can remember their name or not. I still can't get it to work. It's saying I have 11 tabs open. I, don't, I only opened the thing once. <laughs> so, yeah, just just an update. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> From here on out, I will decide who I play with. I will decide who I listen to. I will decide what games that I play on this channel. And to the people who recommended that I play GTA, I am not playing GTA. Somebody tried to get me into that game once. And it failed miserably, I would like to add. Because in the first 30 minutes alone, I did everything under the sun that I do not want to see and do not want to do. Except for anything 18 plus adult related. Isn't that sad? Like, think about it. So apparently swearing and guns are allowed for children, according to games now. But adult content still isn't, and now, thanks to other apps around the world, they are sadly recommending... Excuse me for one moment. Sorry, but I am very protective of my passwords, and I don't want anybody seeing my stuff. Great, now the internet's down, apparently. That's funny. That's really funny how you can sit there and tell me the internet is down when I'm looking at you and I'm seeing full bars and my phone is recording, which tells me there's internet and connection. You suck. You suck. Connect. Secured. Thank you. Dumb app. I'm trying really hard to control my rage not right now. You can actually tell. I'm trying so hard. Let's try this again.
Still not working. Still not working. Okay, great! Pain in my behind. Ah! I just love life, don't you? I just love it. I just love it. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks so much. Just, just. I'm so done with this. I'm, I'm done being trolled. I'm done being the guinea pig for everybody's disrespectful mannerisms. I'm just done with this. For all the games that I, I did mention in this video, I'm not saying that I don't like the games or I don't find them interesting, but there's only so much the average computer can handle. And I already have enough games on my screen and on other apps that I need to worry about already. And I don't need one more. I mean, s some people have been recommending I, I try Destiny and I try Battlefront. And I find them really interesting, and I want to play them. And the same thing with Dying Light. I found it really interesting, and I really consider playing it. But I keep hearing mixed things about everything. First, it, first I hear it's interesting, then I hear it's good. Then I hear from other people, oh, that game's crap. And then I take back on it, then it gets put on my list again. And, well, wouldn't you know it, one of those games was Project Playtime, and that just basically broke down my computer. So thanks, guys. Just, Just thanks. That's all I can say is just thank you for thank you for abusing me. How how is that abusing me? Because you guys recommended something that you thought I would like because you did not spend enough time talking to me. And again, I don't know who the person was. I don't remember. I I thought it was somebody that I had friended on the Xbox, and I I thought it was Burnt Nugget, but now I'm pretty sure it's probably not him. That said, though, I am going to be unfriending some people on Xbox at this point because they keep recommending stuff for me that just screws me over and wastes my time, and I don't find it funny anymore. I've, I've had it. I'm tired of losing accounts. I'm tired of having stuff crash on me. I'm tired of having things break down on me, and they do this because they think it's funny. I don't find this funny at all. So in other words, this whole video is just me saying that from now on, I am no longer doing multiplayer games. And if I do do a multiplayer game, I will choose who I play with. And no, be, just because you're friended to me does not make you entitled to play with me. And that's something people seem to fail at understanding. I am, I'm done with this. I will choose what games I play. I will choose who I play with. And I will choose when, where, and why. So in the meantime, I'm not going to be posting any more YouTube videos because what's the point? I, I can't. I can't use my PC to do that right now. I can only use my phone. So if I do post any more videos in the near future, it's going to be from my phone. And it's not going to be about any game because I can't currently do any of that right now. So to the people on Xbox who I have friended, who have been trying to troll me for the last few months to years and think it's really funny when they grief me and make me lose accounts and break down my software. Thank you so much. 
thank you so much. I'll be sure to not pay you a visit when you need help. Put that in your recommendation list. Menace Snowdecker refuses to help. Just saying. So in the meantime, I'm going... I'm going to sit here and figure out if I can get any thing not working, working, which I can't. So I'm just going to be sitting here and fiddling for who knows how long because I can't get this stuff working. So thanks. In the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Mine sucks. Thanks for asking. But I'll smile anyways. That's all I can do at this point. I can just smile through the pain. Because <laughs> I've gotten so used to pain lately. And that freaking hurts. It hurts to know. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Even though it's just me ranting and saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Cause, because, well, people just don't seem to listen. Take a hint. Normally, I do my outro. I just did part of it. I'm skipping the rest of it. Because I'm in a very confused and upset mood. Why do people do this to, to people? Why? Why do people troll their friends? And why do people grief them? I, I don't understand. Like, I, I, can, I can get, like, making a trolling comment. Or, like, a trolling gif. However you pronounce that. I think I might have pronounced it correctly. I don't know. My head's rattled. Because I'm tired. Well, that woke me up. That helps. <sighs> that definitely woke me up. Might have pronounced it correctly. It might have not the, the the GIF thing that everybody likes to use. Yeah, I can get trolling with that. I don't get why you troll your friends to the point where their their software crashes. That's not funny, because I'm not laughing. And I'm just gonna give a piece of advice right here at the end of the video. Unless your joke makes everyone laugh. It's not as funny as you think it is. And unless the person you're making the joke to understands the joke and finds it funny, then it's not funny. Some people you can walk up to and be like, you're fat! And they'll actually just smile and laugh it off. And some will actually be really offended by it. So please, know your friends, know your audience. Don't do things to upset them because I am now upset by the joke they just tried to pull on me. And I don't find a crashing computer funny. I'm just saying, it's wasting my time. Anyway, hope to see you all again soon. This is Minister Decker signing off and I bid you adieu. Bye-bye, everyone. Hopefully next time, circumstances are a little bit better. But at the rate I'm repairing this, no, they won't be.